Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today topic is about the dissection of a periwinkle flower or Catharanthus rosias. Before starting the dissection, we should know about the basic information of the periwinkle flower or Catharanthus rosias. That is uh, the classification of this flower and the characters. First, we discuss about the classification of the periwinkle flower. This flower falls in the division Angiospermae. Class is Dicotyledony. Family is Apocynesis. And genus is Catharanthus. Species is Rosias. Now the character of this flower. As you can see, the flowers bears all the walls of the complete flower. That is, you can see that is the whorls, calyx, endosium, and gynosium. So it is a complete flower. When we divide the flower, we get two equal halves. We get two equal halves more than to median uh, longitudinal plane through the center through the center so it is a actinomorphic flower this flower bears uh, both the reproductive part uh, that is male and female reproductive part so it is a bisexual flower it is a pedicillate it bears a uh, stalk there you can see it bears a stalk it bears a stalk uh, and it is uh, bactates, it bears a bacteria and also bacteroids. As the ovary is uh, above the thalamus, uh, which I will show in the diagram, I will show in the diagram. So, as the ovary is above the thalamus, so it is a uh, hypogynous flower. It bears uh, five petals, so it is a pentamerous and variously color and sweet smell now i will divide the flower into four parts that is uh, calyx corolla endoecium and gynoecium first the calyx you can see the calyx, uh, you can see the calyx, this is the calyx part. It has uh, five sepals, uh, which are polysepalous, uh, means uh, the sepals are uh, free from each other uh, from their end. They are not uh, overlapping, they are free from each other. So it is a uh, polysepalous. And the estivation is uh, cucancial, that is, uh, out of five, uh, two sepals are external two sepals are internal and the last sepals uh, its one end is internal and the other end is uh, external so it is you can sell estivation and the color is a uh, green now second part that is uh, the corolla part this flower this perinco flowers uh, bears uh, five petals five petals uh, and it is a gamopetalus because uh, these five petals uh, fused with each other and it uh, formed the fusions the result of fusion it that is it formed the this uh, long elongated tube it's called coral tube so it is a gamopetalus estivation is velvet you can see the these five petals are free from their end so it, the estivation is uh, velvet and uh, small hairs are present inside uh, the petals in, in this side in this side or in this side the hairs are present so it is uh, hairy inside and variously colored before uh, starting the 
endosium part uh, let us do the dissection of this flower when you start the dissection of the flower you should move from bottom to the top so let's start the dissection of this flower So this is the dissected part of the flower. I have dissected this uh, flower, this perinca flower, and now I will discuss about the endocene part. You can see in the flower, you can see that uh, these flowers uh, bears uh, five semens five stamens five stem this uh, these flowers uh, bears uh, five stamens uh, five stamens so it, uh, and uh, all the stamens uh, are united to the petals uh, united to the petals by their filaments so it is a uh, epipetalous so these are so the endosome is this and this is the epipetalous as the all the five stamens are united to the petals by their filament and this anther and the anther is a bilobed anther bilobed anther and it's a basic fixed why it is basic fixed because uh, the filament uh, is connected to the base of the anther it is connected to the base of the anther so it is a basic fixed it is the description of the endosium now i will show you the gynosium in diagram this is the dissected part of the gynosium this is the stigma uh, this is the stigma this is the style and this is the ovary part you can observe this is the 
gynoecium part of the periwinkle flower as you observe in the dissected part this is the diagram of the gynoecium this is the annular stigma cornate style free ovary in the gynoecium part of the periwinkle flower two carpels are present or you can say bike it is a bicarpillary and sin uh, sin carpus that is it is a fused not totally fused but it is a fused to the thin sin carpus the ovary superior you can observe the ovary is above the thalamus so it is a super ovary the ovary is long and elongated the placentation is a ventral with the numerous ovules in the two chambers the shape of the stigma is a drum shaped or you can say annular shaped stigma the style is a cornet style this is the gynoecium of the periwinkle flower this is the ts of ovary when you ob observe in the compound microscope uh, you will get uh, in th this is this image you will be observed in the compound microscope this is the two chambers this is the two chambers so it is called uh, by uh, so it is called the bilobed a uh, by uh, bilocular it is called uh, uh, bilocular it is called bilocular the two chambers are present so it is a bilocular this is the two grants present in the opposite side this is the wall of the ovary this is the ovules and this is a chamber you know this is a bilocular so it is a ts of ovary this is the floral diagram of the periwinkle flower this is the barrett this the five freely freely are called the petals or corolla this is a stamens of the periwinkle flower which is joined with the corolla part this uh, is the ovary part and this is the two gland and this is the my, uh, mother pore the floral diagram the floral diagram or uh, the floral or uh, the floral formula of the periwinkle flower is this br stand for the barrett and uh, br stand for the back this plus sign stand for the plus stand for the actinomorphic this is in this sign stand for the bisexual flower k for carry uh, this is calyx k for calyx there are five calyx which are free so it is uh, kept and uh, not kept in bracket freely kept the five five calyx c for corolla the five corolla but it is fused so it is kept in bracket a for uh, androsium so it, uh, the five androsium and the five uh, stamens are uh, a for androsium the five stamens are present and the stamens are joined or united with the corolla so it is uh, the underline is given above g stand for the gynoecium the two carpels are present which are few machine carpels so the bracket in the kept in uh, bracket and uh, since the ovary is superior so it is uh, underlined below so this is the whole structures of the flower diagram you can observe the notes are provided as a link in the description box if you want you can collect that